Hey Aquarius, welcome to your monthly reading for October 2022. My name is Johanna. Welcome to Tenacious Soul. We're going to go through some general messages for you guys for the month of October. So take what resonates, leave the rest. You guys can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. But let's see. We have Apple, Risk and Reward. Bottom of the deck, we have Change with Mummy. So you could be going back and forth on whether the risk is worth the reward on something. It could be about creating some sort of big change in your life or just a change in general, questioning whether it's worth it. Um, you might be really tempted to make this change. Well, let's see what's going on for Aquarius here in October. We have Courage, Aspen Spirit, number three. So, then we have Acceptance. So, yeah, you might be looking for the courage to take some sort of like leap of faith or a change here. Let's see, what's going on in the situation for Aquarius in October? We have the Nine of Pentacles, Magician, and the Queen of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So, money I feel like is good. I feel like there's still growth though. Um, you're feeling secure, you're feeling stable. You, some of you are trying to manifest more, um, like more abundance, right? Just feeling secure and confident within yourself as well. Um, You are trying to create something here. But you're very much in this like a receptive feminine energy as well with this um, pinnacle and cup energy. So I almost feel like things are pretty good for you at this moment in time. But you are trying to still work and strive for more. We'll get into specifics when we clarify. What is going on in the mind or the mental space for Aquarius this month. We have the Ten of Wands, we have the King of Pentacles, and the Hanged Man. So you may have a lot of things, potentially responsibilities that are kind of holding your mind up, <laughs> like kind of blocking your mind. We have the Three of Wands. This could be making it hard for you to see kind of the future or what's coming towards you you might not fully um, be able to see what's coming in because you I just feel like are maybe a little bit overwhelmed or just very busy and have a lot on the mind for some of you it's need you're needing to maybe with this uh, hanged man like surrender and let release some of these things that could be weighing you down with the king of pentacles and the t ten of uh, wands it does feel like responsibility wise you've got a lot like maybe you've got a lot of to-do lists or Something like that. What's going on in the heart space? We have temperance, seven of cups, two of cups, and we have the king of cups. So some of you are trying to manifest love. And I feel like you're open to love, definitely with the seven of cups, like open to different options, seeing where people are at. You're definitely looking to emotionally connect to something. Again, I feel like from a mind perspective, you might be a little distracted or have a lot going on. But I do feel like you've done a lot of healing work from an emotional space to kind of get you... I feel like you're really balanced emotionally. Um, and if at times you do get overwhelmed emotionally, I feel like you are in a good space where you're able to work through that. Like you have the tools you need. What is the advice here for Aquarius, which we'll look at after we clarify? What's the advice for Aquarius in October? Okay, so bottom of the deck with the Three of Pentacles. We're gonna stick these over here. Yeah, I feel like there's a sense of, for some of you, for some of you, there is someone around you, but you might not, like for some of you, if the mind is really consumed, you might not fully see it right away.
But let's see, why is this Nine of Pentacles here for Aquarius in October? We have the Page of Wands. So yeah, there definitely could be communication here. What's this Magician for Aquarius? Seven of Cups. So again, it's like you have options. Um, or your manifesting options. I feel like there could be someone you're already talking to. What's this Queen of Cups? I almost feel like you're right, waiting for the right one though. Yeah, King of Cups, King and Queen of Cups, which we already saw him. I think you're waiting for the right person or the person. So even if you have options, it's like you're trying to find the, the right one. Why is this Ten of Wands here in the mind or the mind space here for Aquarius? Why is this Ten of Wands here? We have the Emperor and the Ten of Pentacles. So if some of you have a business or you're like very established in your career, because I, I feel like money is quite good. You could be very focused on um, that, like that could be taking up a lot of your time and your energy and just your mental space. For others of you though, you're heavily thinking about a relationship and, a, and like a, a soulmate type of connection here. Why the King of Pentacles? We have the Death card. Two of Cups. Why is this Hanged Man here? Knight of Swords. So I feel like you're looking to make some sort of change or some sort of take some sort of action in a it's gonna be towards a person that's on, like not your usual type or like I almost feel like you're looking at the risk versus reward on a person or a situation. Could, like I said, this could be someone you're already talking to or someone you'll meet. Um it's like there's a person who catches your attention. And that might kind of shift things here. It also might be your energy that shifts things. Like if you've just kind of been doing your own thing and like, you know, just kind of seeing where life is gonna take you. It's like all of a sudden there might be a person or a situation that gets you thinking about how you wanna move and take action and change things. Um, but let's see what this temperance is here in the heart space for you, Aquarius. We have the eight of swords. So yeah, healing. I feel like also as well, you've been patient. You've been, um, again, I feel like there's a lot of mental chatter or just a lot going on in the mind space. Why is the seven of cups here? Justice, yeah, looking for your match, your partner. Why is the two of cups here? Temperance. So you're waiting. Like, I just feel like you're waiting for a solid offer, Ace of Pentacles. This is you looking for a partnership, looking for something that is built upon truth and something that is right and something that makes sense. I almost feel like the waiting, though, has kind of... Um, added a level of stress or it's been challenging. Maybe one more with this Eight of Swords, Temperance. We have ten, uh, ten of Swords. So maybe, again, if you guys have ended something already, um, we have the High Priestess and kind of removed your energy from something, it feels like you are healing from that, but you're also open to other opportunities and other people or other situations. It does feel like relationship stuff. I feel like you're going through a big transformation here. And you are looking for something stable, something solid, whether that's in a person or whether that's in a career. And there definitely is someone here, but like you're looking for your, your soulmate. It's like someone who fits the bill, you know? What's the, uh, give me one more with this page of wands, nine of pentacles here for this situation for Aquarius this month. 
We have the Three of Swords and the Star. So again, I just, I'm getting more of this like healing energy. More of this healing energy. And I almost feel like maybe by stepping into this new thing, it is helping you heal. Like talking to a new person or meeting a new person is helping you heal and open you up. But there's definitely a change with death in the middle with that King of Pentacles and this change energy. Having courage to step towards something that you're, it's like, I'm not sure maybe if it's going to be w worth the risk, but you're willing to see where it goes. One more with this uh, Hanged Man and Knight of Swords, please, for Aquarius. Nine of Wands. Yeah, like having to change a pattern or shift something. Queen of Cups. Judgment, yeah. I, I feel like this is you, like having to muster up the courage and the strength and like go against what you normally would do, like make a change somehow to get what it is that you're looking for. So whether this is maybe like actually going out and dating or like there's something that you're having to be courageous about in order to make this change in your life somehow. And I almost feel like it's like putting yourself out there or going against a form of resistance that you've been holding yourself back with and making that change to open yourself up. So definitely interesting there's a lot of signs here but your advice we have um, the Emperor again we have the chariot and we have the star so go with what feels right for you with the star energy there is both of these cards the Emperor and the chariot talk about control so you're in the driver's seat of your own fate and like where you're wanting to go in your life. I do feel like though there is a person who's like, again, like catching your eye or there's a person who is, there's something that's standing out that I feel like you're wanting to take action towards. And if that's the case, then like go for it. Even if it's like a purpose or a destiny, like it's something that's on your path that you're meant to charge towards, take action towards. Um, but you have to be almost like the one to take control of that. Something about like like opening yourself up or taking charge to take initiative to go after something. But I, I don't know if it's fully in a like you're the one making the moves as much as it is like you're taking control of your own life and your own energies and your own healing to get you prepared for this or to open yourself up to this. Um, because there's something that's here with regards to like a little bit of like your purpose and alignment. We have the star twice here. We also have judgment here is that, that is at the bottom of the deck. We have this change and this like risk and reward. So you're definitely tempted to move in a certain direction here, but it's like whether you can muster up the courage to go for that, go for it. Give me one more with this Two of Cups Temperance. Is this something I feel like you've been waiting for? Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, like you've been waiting for this to come in, to receive this. We got the King and Queen of Cups, the King and Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this is something you've been waiting and preparing yourself for. Because I do feel like you're closing out a chapter, you're making a change and, and stepping into stepping towards I feel like you're closing out the chapter chapter because you're stepping towards something new because you're making this change it's almost like it's you're forcing yourself to make a change so I think it's like you're pushing yourself but it's in a healthy way and I feel like whatever this connection is it's healing for you as well because of that and this will be someone you'll like you know get to know and start to build with here so that is pretty much what i got for you aquarius hopefully that resonates uh, let me know down below if not you can check out any of um, your other signs or a different reading but i hope you guys have a 
wonderful month of October, wonderful day, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.